Hello and welcome to my review for The Square. The Square is one of the biggest films of this year. Um, it it won the uh, Palm d'Or or the Golden Palm at the Cannes Film Festival uh, earlier on this year, and it's received in a fair amount of buzz, not because it won the Palm d'Or, which is yeah, a big fucking deal. I've never, I haven't been a huge fan of Ruben Ushland's work in the past. I might have butchered that name, but. His, his, but his previous film, uh, Force Majeure, was a decent film, but I didn't think it was great, I didn't buy into the hype, but I thought it was okay. And I went into the square expecting more of the same, it won the Pandora, so I guess I was more excited than I thought I'd be. And I have to say, for the first two thirds, this movie is thoroughly, I was with it, I was like, yep, all of this seems fun, it's enjoyable, it's funny, it seems to have a few sort of jabs at PC culture and at... Uh, controversy culture and sort of some of the outrage stuff that you see like yeah okay I'm with it, I have some jabs at the art world, I was like I'm with it. But then the film sort of fizzled out for me and I have to say overall I, I'm a little disappointed on it. I certainly think it's one of the weaker Pandor winners I've seen. It, it's certainly we weaker than last year's winner, I Daniel Blake. So The Square as a film is basically it's a comedy drama, satir satirical drama maybe, about a man who runs an art gallery and it's about the bunch of like Fingers, just, just sort of a bunch of stuff that happens to him over a short period of time. So he has a new exhibition coming up and they've run a marketing campaign, there's a new art work called The Square, which they need to sort of do. He meets, a, he meets a woman, He his phone gets stolen and he does some stuff to try and get it back. And there's a whole bunch of different sort of artsy fancy people doing artsy fancy stuff. And that's kind of what it is. And, and a lot of it is to do with PC culture and reactions to that. So there's bits where people, where artists in the film, so popular playing artists do stupid things, so they will do things which are pushing the boundaries, which are almost in bad taste, and what we and what the film is end about is about like that controversy. It deals with stuff like homelessness and reactions to that. There's a particular way that like, how do you market something? Do, do, do you deliberately use controversy to market something? There's there's one scene where there's a press conference, someone who has Tourette's is you know interrupting that conference. And all that sort of stuff. It is genuinely, for the first two thirds, funny and snappy, and each and every single scene by itself is very well made. In fact, this is a general criticism I have of Ruben Uslan's work, sort of in general, with Force Majeure and with this. They're both kind of full of good bits, but they're not much more than that. And the problem that The Square has is you, you sort of see the individual strands. So you have the strand to do with the marketing, the strand to do with the artist, the strands to do with. Um, the lead character relationship with a woman played by Elizabeth Moss and you see these sort of things that are all funny and kind of witty and kind of clever by themselves and you wonder when is it all going to come together to really say something, to mean something what is the whole point of this? and it doesn't really come to anything in the end It's like it kind of ends up just falling apart in the final third because you begin to realise that it's just going to be a selection of bits like they're very good bits but they very rarely intersect. Like there's there's virtually no point where there's like a thematic or emotional juncture between them. Each section is kind of its own thing, and it doesn't really cross over to a point where you go, oh, you know, like the emotional thing of this scene plays into the next scene. No, no, they're just separate scenes. So it's just throwing stuff at the wall. It's just throwing out there. Here's an example of PC culture. Da da. Here's an example of pretentious artistry. Da da. Here's an example of, of you know of controversy. Da da. And that's it. Let's just throwing societal things at the wall and kind of seeing what sticks and I have to say by the end of it it, leave, it leave, left me kind of deflated because I felt like nothing had really happened it was just stuff. Rupert Ursuline has a thing and this, the, the same thing with Foss Majeure as well that like he doesn't even ha have an ending and it's not that thing where like oh it's a film where like it has no ending because you know life doesn't have an ending and you know, like some movies have that sort of thing where like it just sort of stops but that's kind of the point like the story like you've reached the thematic and emotional conclusion if not the literal narrative conclusion. The Square doesn't even do that. The Square and Force Majeure book kind of stop at a point where thematically or emotionally you have you don't feel like, oh, they finally got to what they were saying or they finally got to the point that must hit me more. That's it. The, the emotional thematic peaks have kind of gone and you've just kind of ended up a random moment in time that for no reason. Like towards the end there's also a few things that are just unnecessarily brutal, like there's some stuff which I was like, that's just uncomfortable, that's not even kind of funny or satirical, that's just kind of not nice. And that's not to say that the dark humour isn't great, that some of the darkest moments are the funniest. Perhaps the very darkest moment to do with exploding children might actually be the funniest part of the film even. 
Oh, actually, no, no, there's a really great scene involving a condom, actually, that's the funniest part. But, generally speaking, there is some points where the humour sort of go, they're just kind of dark. It, it also doesn't help that it's mocking this pretentious art, but then I kind of feel at some points that actually the art that's been mocked is actually deeper than the film that's mocking the art, which doesn't help. But here's the thing about all these criticisms. These criticisms really are all just thrown in there because what I'm saying is, I don't think this deserves to win the Palme d'Or, it's been acclaimed and so, and I'm not a Ruben Ushman fan, so I can see these flaws. Having said all that, it is actually a, a, like a very good film. It's perfectly entertaining. It is funny. It has a few points, it has a few stingers. It certainly has enough sort of witty, witticisms and like decently smart critiques that you kind of go, okay, I kind of see what you're saying. You're not cohesively telling me them or explaining them or showing them or anything, but you aren't making points. You aren't making points in a way that I think is smooth enough to really make your film good. And I don't think you're, it's funny enough to justify the lack of cohesion, but it is funny and it is enjoyable. So, tons of flaws aside, I really have to say that I think The Square is pretty much a good movie. It did deserve to win the Palme d'Or by any stretch of the imagination, almost every other film I've seen that was in competition deserved it more. But, it's solid. It's not bad. There has been worse. Although now I'm actually trying to think of worst Palm Dollar winners and now I'm struggling. Um, oh yeah, called Fahrenheit 9-11. Like, if you like this sort of, sort of type of European art house, you know, bourgeois, academic, art artsy fartsy, Euro drama, satire thing, yeah, whatever, you might you might get a thing out of this. I think there's much better examples of that out there. I think there's much, I think there's so many stronger examples. Yeah, so yeah, it's good. But I think both can and general Filmic, film going audience could have found something better to be honest. If you like this review then give it a like, um, thanks for watching and if you want more to see more of this stuff subscribe, you can follow me on Twitter or Letterboxd, link down below um, to find out about my movie watching and yeah The Square, good film!